it's Lee from ColoringQueen.net and today I want to show you a little Japanese postcard book. Now I did show the uh, normal A4 style book uh, by the same artist. This is a postcard book. Now this book has quite a faint line art just like the larger size book by the same artist. So it may not be very visible on camera. It's got a lovely dust jacket on it. Coloured printing at the beginning. So we'll have a look at the little thumbnails. Now these postcard books, just like the magazine style ones that are larger, are really well made. They all have coloured thumbnails at the beginning and some little techniques here. You can use a scan or translate app if you wanted to read the text and you don't read Japanese. And then they've always got, in the larger books, they've always got the full image and you can see the link to the larger book uh, below the video here. It doesn't have the same illustrations as this postcard book. It's got different illustrations in it, but it's by the same artist. And she has a lovely sketchy style. So you get the coloured postcard that you could send to a friend if you were so inclined. You know I'm never giving mine away unless I've got two copies, so that's not going to happen. And then you have got the version that you can colour in yourself over here on the right. Now her line art is quite sketchy. It's quite hard to see and very grey. So if you did have a visual impairment, you might want to just do a watercolour wash or something like that. Now the paper is not designed for watercolours, saying that. But if you were sparing with your water, then you would be able to use it, I'm sure. Just practice in an inconspicuous area first. And you've got plenty of space there on the back to write out your message to people. Her artwork is just beautiful. Now, these postcards are a lovely card stock, so you should have no problems colouring them in. And there's a perforation line between the coloured image and the colourable image. Now, as I keep saying though, the line art is extremely light. So, getting a good idea of it, you probably need to look at the coloured image more than the actual colourable image. But it's still very, very beautiful. So very sweet little images, very cutesy. I love that sunflower. And I love the red on his dress here. Now, of course, you don't have to colour them the way the artist has. You can do whatever you fancy. I really do, though, think it's very nice having the inspirational image. Look how cute that one is. And not only inspirational, but also usable, because if you were so inclined, you could actually give it to somebody. I just couldn't bear to part with them, and especially if I gave it to somebody and they like put it in the bin or something, I'd be heartbroken. If they just went, oh that's a nice postcard and then they 
went, oh yeah, out we go. So I couldn't possibly give it to a minimalist. It'd have to be someone as sentimental as me, so I don't know. It's going to stay with me, I think. Now, it wasn't uh, all dented up like that over here. That's just part of living with me. So there we have it, our gorgeous Japanese postcard book. And if you like your the artwork, but you like it on a larger size, Check out the video below for the review of the larger book by the same artist. Until next time, happy colouring.